So the Adams have been here for about, um, I guess, about three months now, maybe four As months. As you can see, they're very close to the back wall there, much closer than Adam recommend. They say about a foot, you know, I've got them six inches in. Um, but I haven't noticed any problems with coupling and you have the EQ to, you know, help. So this is going to be my normal kind of sitting position, right? I'm kind of in this triangle, so they're pointing towards the kind of back of my ears and in no way do they feel claustrophobic or noisy or like a you know fatiguing I could leave these on 24 7 I could even move them closer to me and they're beautifully quiet um, even less fatiguing than the focals and that's saying something sound field is filling fill in the room you know it's very very wide nice sound stage absolutely beautiful you know and the best thing I can say is a wave of tribute you know it doesn't even sound like the speakers are, do are doing anything right I mean the sound is just there in the room it doesn't feel as if they're coming out at all so very good okay so on on the rear of the monitor there um, we see this which is a a control to um, adjust presets you can adjust the six bands of EQ. Um, what else can you do? You can adjust the gain. There's a whole whole load of different things. So it's kind of push. It's a single push, long push system. Um, yeah, it takes it takes takes a you know a couple of uses to get the hang of, but. Um, essentially that's a very clear OLED display there so you can effectively you can set the speakers up anywhere in the dark um, if you look further down we've got a there's a USB port there I believe USB port um, AES in and out that's for side chaining we've got analog in and there's some space there for maybe some upgrades there, RJ45 ports for upgrades in the future. All feels very solid, very professional. There's a little bit of heat coming off there, but nothing, nothing major. Very, very solid speakers. I've made a comparison uh, between these and the Focal 40s, right? In terms of the Focals being a beautiful, a beautiful impressionist uh, kind of portrait um, that's kind of warm and velvety and fuzzy and smooth and honey, right? 
and the Adams are like the Degar, right? They're these grand, finely detailed, you know, there's light and dark in them, right? There's a lot of contrast and um, it's a breathtaking experience. These are three-way monitors. Um, the crossover is digitally controlled. There's a safety limiter which is digitally controlled. Um, and the analog signal that goes into them, into these, um, has to go through a, an analog to digital stage, right? Now, a lot of people, particularly people with um, who spent a lot of money, right, on a particular um, digital to analog converter, are going to want to hear the sound of that converter through a straight through analog system, right? Because um, for various reasons. Um, if you're coming in via AES, right, then it's a different matter, right? Um, but what you are hearing is the sound of the atom conversion, right? Whether that's a digital signal coming in or an analog signal coming in, it's going through Adam's processing, right? Before it becomes an analog signal again, it goes through a further digital to analog stage, uh, and it become, comes out the speaker. So I'm, go I'm gonna I'm gonna say now, right? Even as a bit of an analog snob, right? I don't have a problem with Adam's conversion at all. I think it's wonderful. You know, you, you can quote the figures, right? It's 96 kilohertz, uh, it's 24 bit, it's 32 bit uh, floating point precision DSP processing for the EQ and the limiter. Um, but I, do, I don't think that matters, right? I, I think what matters is how do they sound, right? How well do they represent music? Uh, and I think they're stunning. Um, it's opened my eyes up to what monitoring can be. It's very pleasant, it's non-fatiguing, it's comfortable. Um, it's true, it's linear, it's accurate. Um, so it allows the ability to hear the mix to a professional standard, you can make good decisions. You can tune it to your room to some extent. Adam have a kind of proven reliability, right? The, They've been making monitors quite a long time, um, you know, I follow the reports on them, they've got a pretty good rep really, so um, I think they've really come of age with these speakers. And you know, I'm enjoying the music, right, I'm enjoying having confidence in what I'm hearing and the kind of decisions I'm making in terms of EQ and compression, I can hear the full spectrum. Um, I've tried them straight out uh, Focusrite Sapphire interface. Um, I've tried them through this Axis Audio, lin uh, Axis Audio lin Linear uh, Passive Monitor Controller, it's really high end, sounds perfect. I've tried them through the uh, tried them through the KRK Ergo as well, which has kind of room correction, it sounds fantastic. To be honest, I prefer the Audio Linear Axis. Okay, so I've got I've got both monitors um, uh, plugged in by USB. So you get you can select your source here, AES analog input, and you can go run through the presets. Okay, so I think what we need to do now is um, open, here we go. So now I can store, store these settings, use a preset, save. Now I've got a 1K dip in my room, so I'm gonna Gauge this, we're going to go to 1K. And I'm going to give it 3.6 decibels.
Everything else is fine there, so we'll save this to user preset 1. So it's kind of going through this process, it's taking around 20 seconds to do that. Um, I've updated the firmware, took, took four or five minutes to do, but that's no problem. It updated smoothly and automatically. So I've got myself a couple of user presets in there. I'm on user one at the moment, it's called Arthur2. And um, then we've got the UNR, which I think is the factory one from Adam. And then there's another one, Pure. Now it sounds to me like they're changing. I think it's very subtle, but knocked a bit of bass out, added uh, a kilohertz in here to kind of compensate for a, a deep um, null in the room. Um, so you can go to help as well, you can go to contact support. There's a user manual here to. Um, uh, explain everything so I should have read that first maybe <laughs> um, let's oh. Can I get rid of that? there we go so generally it, it's it's pretty bug free software really um, you know everything's explained you you can read about I'll go more into depth in the written review on gear slots. Um, I recommend you read that if you're interested because it's got a lot more useful information than me uh, blithering on really. So that, that's the software and um, it's pretty good. It's not as much utility in this as specialised um, calibration software, room calibration software. But um, I guess, I mean, you, you could mix that into the equation if you have your own specialist kind of um, system already. Okay, so uh, that's been my review of the Adam S3Vs. Uh, there's an H version as well, which is horizontal and has a a wider stereo dispersion but I, I did find this a good field for this size room so this room's about I think 16 by 14 foot and I wondered if the um, S3V would be too big um, I haven't found that whatsoever um, once they've been here for a few days I mean they just disappeared into the background and you know they're very um, neutral in that sense uh, they don't uh, stick out too much um, I recommend you go to the website um, it's got a load of technical detail which I which I haven't mentioned here uh, the frequency response for example is 32 Hertz to 50 kilohertz and uh, the, the bot man sounds fantastic on them <laughs> really really good I think the S3Vs will work in small rooms as well I have no problem at all they're very loud um, but they're linear so you, you can listen to them quietly and you can turn the volume up and you just get a kind of louder a louder representation you could probably run a small rave you know <laughs> They do go that loud, and they're certainly building shaking. And we, we had an earthquake recently. You know, my neighbours did wonder um, if it if it was me playing the Moog through these. Um, I've used them a lot for live jams. So if we're overdubbing a DI'd guitar, uh, you know, we can we can have the audio coming out from here. And there was a really good response from. Um, uh, we're, we're doing that so it's a it's a nice kind of monitoring tool I didn't need to use the bigger monitor so the full review is um, available on gearslats.com uh, in the review section there there's no substitute for testing monitors yourself these are definitely worth trying are they worth two grand each yes but these are giving me a taste 
for what's out there, how good three-way systems are, and how 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 they're good value really. You know, if music is your passion, and or you're doing this professionally, um, excellent, solid benchmark. Well done, Adam.